What's up everybody? Welcome to the very first episode of Street Neat. Series where you and me, the neighborhood fat guy, travel all around to all kinds of different places to get some good food. And today, I'm going to start y'all off with one of my very favorite places. It's a little place called Seoul, Korea. It's in uh, south side Birmingham, on the south side of town. Um, one of my favorite places to eat of all time. I love Korean food. I do. I absolutely love it. And um, one of the things that I was missing from my life is I didn't know anything about Korean food until I met my wife. You know, when uh, I grew up, we I lived in a town where, you know, if it wasn't chicken or, you know, maybe some uh, Americanized Chinese food, you know, it wasn't available. So one of the first places my wife introduced me to when we started dating was this Korean restaurant. And um, it's expensive, don't get me wrong, it's, it's a pricey place, but um, it's very, very good. Uh, I absolutely loved it. So I'm going to take you all along with me and we're going to go grab some food. Hey, a limo. That's cool. Uh, and one of my favorite parts about the uh, about the dinners, they bring you out these little appetizer dish, uh, dishes, and I want to say they're called banchan. Uh, that's like the the name. It's either I think it's ban banchan. I, I don't remember. I can't. There's a lot of stuff here that I just downright can't remember the name of. Um, but it, it's little dishes that come up with a, little, a lot of different things. Sometimes they'll come up with like little little pickle-like things that I've given up trying to remember the name of. Uh, kimchi, which is like um, Korean uh, fermented cabbage. It's really, really good. It's kind of a little spicy, but it's really, really good if you've never had it. But hopefully, if this video does at least moderately well, um, I'll probably do be doing more videos like this because there's a lot of places around town that I really like to eat at. I've got a lot of favorite restaurants. I mean, I love food probably probably more than sex some days. Um, so I definitely enjoy some fine dining. Uh, and even some not so fine dining. You know, there's some, some hole-in-the-wall uh, barbecue places here that I have to publicly apologize to everybody for, you know, for what they're about to witness before I start eating. Uh, I just, I get nasty. But um, hopefully this will be the first of many in the series. And, you know, even if nobody watches it, I'll probably still do it because I just like doing the videos. They're fun for me. Uh, even if I don't have a lot of time to do them. But, you know, I, I get out what I can. And apparently I'm going to hit every fucking red light between here and the restaurant. Thankfully the restaurant's like 100 yards down the road, so this should be the last, last red light. It's really going to piss me off if this fit, the audio doesn't come out on this. Because uh, this place is expensive and I don't get to eat there often. So I'm, I won't be able to make this episode again for a while. Alright, here we go.
Oh, oh my god, that place is so good. Oh man. I like the owner in there. He's a really cool guy. He um we've been going there so long that he he already knows what we, we order. It's it, like he he hands us a menu out of uh I guess courtesy, but he he doesn't even really ask what we want. He's like, okay, you two getting bibimbap and bagogi. So I mean, he he knows exactly what we're getting. Oh, man, I'm glad I got the new battery in this thing because you know it was not wanting to cooperate with me for a while. I'd get like two good starts out of it, and then that be it. Alright, let's see. Alright, here we go. Oh man, I feel better. Yeah, I'm glad I got the uh, the battery fixed. You know, it, it's starting up now, it's running good. So hopefully that's the end of my issues there. But yeah, I like that guy. He, he knows us pretty well now. And, of course, you know, he likes having the kids in there. He's always spoiling them with one thing or another. Like today, he just he gives, gives them, like, dessert. Sometimes it's a yogurt drink. Sometimes it's a uh, an ice cream, like today. <clears throat> and um, in the little dishes that he brings out, there's one that, that kind of like little pickles. <clears throat> and I don't really know exactly what they are. But we just call them little pickles, and that's what he refers them to. I guess he, either that's what they are, or he never corrected us. But my uh, oldest daughter, daughter, Ella, loves those things, and she's always liked them. So now, he'll just go ahead and bring her out her own dish of those pickles just for her. So it's a very it's a very personable place. I mean, the whole bill is like $75 for everything that we got. So yeah, it, it's a little pricey. Um, it, it's a little high, but the food quality is top notch. Like absolute food is great. I have absolutely zero complaints about the food itself. And it's one of those places where I'll eat and I'll get really full, but I never, I never have enough to, I never have enough to the point where I hate myself afterward. So I'm still, I'm, I'm pleasantly full. It's not, you know, a uh, why the hell did I do that myself kind of full. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of. That's kind of the way these things are going to go. This one, there's not a lot of commentary or a lot of footage of the, the restaurant itself because it's kind of hard to get good footage when you've got, you know, a bunch of people there. So I think normally how I'm going to do these, I'll just be by myself on the bike and go into these places on my own. Um, but that, that's one particular place that I can't get to by myself. My family won't let me go by myself. So, when I found out we were going to go today, I was like, you know what, I'll take the camera and just kind of see how this turns out. Like I said, this is the first, first of the series, and we'll just see how it pans out. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for y'all today. Uh, I do want to note that next month, uh, me, Skeet, and I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about Skeet. Uh, me and him and some friends of ours are going out to Tuscaloosa to the Blue Angels Air Show. Now, some of y'all know this, some of y'all don't, but I'm an aviation fanatic. And I love going to these things, so I'm going to take the GoPro out there. I'm going to ride a helicopter, hopefully, um, and just have a good time. So if y'all are out there, hit me up on Instagram or Discord or Facebook, you know, wherever you can get up with me, let me know you're there. And, you know, we can hang out. And uh, I'm pretty easy like that, but I don't know how many fans I actually have in Alabama. Hopefully many more soon to come. But, you know, hey, if you just happen to be in the area, stop by. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all have a good day. And as always, stay beautiful, stay happy, and, uh, yeah, be good to one another. Y'all have a good one.